In this one, I wanna show you how to add a picture over a video in iMovie on the iPhone. So I do have a movie right now that I'm gonna go into and edit. Right now, it's literally just a couple of different video clips that I have there, and I wanna add a picture on top. The way that you do that is go to the plus button on the left-hand side, and you want to add something into the timeline. You can use the camera to go and take a picture right now, or if you have the image in your moments already, just click on moments and it will take you through to the options. So I want to add a picture of myself on top of the timeline. So just click the picture of yourself and you'll see a box come up. So click the three dots and it's gonna give you some options you wanna choose one of these. You can choose a cutaway or a picture in picture. For right now, we're gonna choose picture in picture. You can change it at a later date. So click picture in picture, and there we go. I've added a picture on top of the video in iMovie. There are some options that you can do though, which are really great. So if you highlight the picture itself in the timeline by pressing it, some options come up. Firstly, you can essentially move that picture anywhere you want around on the image. So if you press these arrows, you can then drag to position and pinch to resize. So you can just use one finger to drag that image wherever you want. You can also resize that box bigger or smaller and it will show up on top of the video. Once you click out of that box by pressing the arrows once more, then it will stay like that. So no black boxes as you can see. You can also zoom in and out within the box. So if you press the magnifying glass, you can zoom within that image itself. So you can make that picture bigger within the box size that you already chose. Press once more and that will resize itself to whatever size you want. Obviously my face doesn't need to be that big. So we'll make it about that big, press okay. And as you can see, it's resized. You can also add or remove a border by pressing that option. It's the third option down at the bottom. You can either add or remove, so very simple. There are also some other options as well. So for example, down at the bottom, you can see those two boxes, a solid and a dotted line. Press that one and you can change the options. So maybe you can use a split screen for the picture and the video. If I just press play on the timeline, everything will now be a split screen between them. If I press pause, and go back, then press the image itself. You have some more options. You can add or take away the border between the two. You can also change the position of that split screen by pressing the options in the middle, either top and bottom and left and right, essentially it will just scroll through. And again, if that doesn't look very good, you can resize either of those images by pressing the magnifying option. In this case, I've got the image highlighted, so it's resizing the image and you can pinch and zoom to whatever size that you want. That is the simple way to do it, and there definitely are some good options. If you don't want the image whatsoever anymore, you can just simply delete it once it's highlighted, just press the delete button, and then all of the edits that you made will just be deleted, and you'll go back to the original video file as it was before. That is how to add a picture over a video in iMovie on the iPhone. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.